and the fourth ranked college basketball team in the nation will tip it off in just hours before a sold out crowd. It's game night at UD Arena and 2 News reporter Deborah Bogart joins us live after talking to students about the incredible support for this nationally ranked team. Well, it's a red out tonight as ESPN is broadcasting the game against Davidson. I did catch up with a group earlier today who was selling red shirts in advance of tonight's game, and they tell me you can't walk around on campus without talking or hearing about this year's amazing season. Students stopping by the Red Scare table this afternoon to make sure they're geared up for tonight's red out. It gets the team jacked up. Um, it it's very intimidating when you come into an arena and there's 13,000 people all in red at one time screaming their heads off. Taylor Janier is from New York. He says he got interested in UD after their basketball team beat Syracuse University a few years ago. So I knew they always had a strong basketball culture and I knew we were going to be good this year. I just didn't know how special of a season we were going to have. I mean, I don't think anybody could predict this. Both Janier and fellow UD students, Annie Montefiore, say the Flyer Fever is running high across campus. We sell out every single game within 30 minutes for student tickets. Anywhere you go, you're talking about basketball. You're talking about OB. You're talking about our women's team doing so well. It's exciting. It's really getting people out of their shells, and it's really bringing together the university. Montefiore is a senior, saying while the excitement surrounding the Flyers basketball team is always there, this year it's out of this world. It will be memories that I cherish for probably the rest of my life here. You know, it's just a once in a lifetime opportunity that I've been given to really take advantage of, you know, everything that Dayton is really offering right now within the aspect of athletics. 